Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I feel like this is like the third time I've tried to do this intro. Anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good week. Um, I can't believe like this is the last week in November. Um, it's a short month anyway, compared to like the rest, but yeah, it just, it feels like it's just gone so fast this year, like to know that we're in December by Friday. Um, it's crazy. I like I'm sort of this person that just I just need to get to December before getting like super festive um I'm not ready to put up my tree yet I mean until I did say to why we'd do it on the Sunday I think it's is it Sunday the third I think um so generally it's a little bit earlier than like 12 days before obviously but um yeah, I just, I'm not a Scrooge, like, I love Christmas, but I feel like it can feel very long and overwhelming for the month of December if I start too early, so, yeah, I mean, we've got lots planned for December, which I can't wait, um, it's going to be a jam-packed month of fun festiveness, um, yeah, so I am looking forward to it, but I just feel like I can't get to that until December. <laughs> It's just even Christmas music like I'm not ready for Christmas music yet like let me enjoy it in December let me put on like heart Xmas through December but right now I'm just not there yet does anyone else feel like that I mean I feel like everyone's got their tree up and whatever but yeah I'm not quite there yet but anyway I hope you're having a good week like I said um, it's Monday today Monday the 27th um, yeah I've got general choresy stuff to do today um i've been trying to we've got three weeks till the kids actually break up from school so i'm just trying to on the days where i don't have miles because he's at nursery and obviously the kids are at school um i just need to kind of get those bits and bobs done like starting to wrap finish off the christmas shopping um you know, just those sorts of things that I, I can't do and actually struggle to do with miles around and whatever. So this is one of those days. Um, I have got my standard usual jobby stuff to do in the morning though. Um, but yeah, just a random vlog today. Violet was up <clears throat> like seven o'clock, dressed. I was just like, are you feeling all right? And then Alice just rolled out of bed, miserable as hell. Miles has been up since six-ish. I got back from the gym just after six. So he, obviously Graham was hit. Um, so he's been up super perky. But yeah, everyone's in like this weird vibe. I always find school mornings a bit like meh because no one is in the mood to talk. I feel like none of my children are like morning people. Although the boys are naturally early risers. They're just, you know, always feel like you're walking on eggshells. And Alistair's in such a mood. Right, I'm just in the pen with Dottie. She's our only calf on milk now at the moment. <laughs> Drug that so quick. The kids went off absolutely fine. Um, yeah, just got the other calves to feed. Hey, Dot Dot. She's getting a uh, friend soon. You are getting a little baby uh, friend soon. Uh, yeah. Sweetie. Uh, yeah. Uh, Breakfast time. Quieting down a bit. Good morning. You hungry? <laughs> Blah. Blah. Sucky. This is Miles' favourite, this one. Don't name them. We haven't named you though, have we? No. Just filling their water up. But the bedding looks pretty good. That's filled up. And they are happy. Right, I'm back home, getting the doggies out. It's actually really nice. Um, it definitely feels a lot more milder than what it's been. 
we definitely went into the minuses and had a proper frost over the weekend which was actually quite nice because it was dry and it was frosty and we put the rayburn on and it's just been oh it's just been super cozy um but yeah it stopped raining it's been raining overnight i think and a bit this morning but yeah just getting the doggies out still very very soggy when we had a lot of rain last week got to pick up an order from argos today um i don't know what to do i don't know whether to do that and then go down to castle point just kind of get the last i've got so i've got so many vouchers to buy lots of like nieces and nephews now they just they're all like teens free teens all they want is like money or vouchers or v bucks or you know so i could do that today but i, I could do that any day to be fair um it's just another thing off the list that i want to get ticked off you know not sure i've got some wrapping to do i just i don't like wrapping i kind of want to do it just to get it out of the way but i really don't enjoy wrapping um i'm going to tidy house a bit we've got the block bed up so i need to put that down the only christmasy thing we've got going on is henry and his christmasy collar Can you see it cute Cute. The turkey's out. <coughs> massive. I've got two weeks left. <clears throat> Look at this one. He's big. He's fanning. <laughs> He's fanning as well. He's showing off. <laughs> He's the biggest, I think. Oh, well, actually. Cool. Look at that one. They look so different when they found. Just going through some post. Um, one thing that um, Alistair and Violet School do, they do like little postcards of like, they call it like recognition of like whatever subject they've achieved good things in or whatever, or it could be just attendance, but they actually send them out personally, like the teachers um, send them out like postcards. So Violet has just got a postcard. I think she's gonna, I'm just trying to cover up the name and stuff, but how cute is this? Like just a little, um, little focus. And it basically says, congratulations, you've achieved five recognition points in English. Well done, Violet. And then it says her teacher's name. It's like a proper handwritten postcard, but yeah, but Alistair's got quite a few of these. I think she's gonna be um, super chuffed to get one of these. It's really sweet. It's quite positive because Violet's really good at English, but she's a bit lazy. She's very good at, you know, you know what kids are like. They, even if they're good at something, they can be quite lazy. Um, so hopefully that will give her a bit of a, a boost. Um, I'm just, I actually sold a few things on, on Vinted, which I can't honestly like believe how quick they sold. I put them up there and honestly within an hour, I only put four items on, but it was just, yeah, they were just sold really, really quickly. So yeah, I'm just sending over the, they were all raw mail, so I had to post those today. Whew. And then I got, um, I don't know why, but for some reason I, um, I, um, I get junk mail from cotton traders, but my dad, he is very much into, he's like half Irish, so he's very much into like the Guinness, he goes to Ireland. Um, and he's very much into the Guinness stuff. I always buy him like a couple of new shirts or something. I'm just seeing what they've got. They've got some of these nice rugby shirts actually, but I'm not sure if they wear them. But yeah, they're just like that logo Guinness stuff. They do that in Cotton Traders, if you're wondering. It's pretty much all he wears on his kind of like days off. I think I'm gonna get him slippers as well. I haven't bought him slippers in years. <laughs> It's just the sort of stuff that they don't buy themselves. Like my dad, honestly, I don't believe for a second he buys himself slippers. I buy him socks every year as well. He's like day off socks, he calls them. Right, I'm gonna put down the block bed and I'm gonna wash those blankets, because they need doing. Then I'll probably hoover around. I actually tied up the toys before we left. Okay, I have just, I actually just swung by to my mother-in-law's because my parcel went there, even though it's got my dress on it. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go to Argos. Uh, pick up my order, something festive, sorry for the kids, and um, they're going to be so excited because it is super tacky, but I love it. 
and um, it was on sale and I'll show you once they pick it up. Um, it's kind of only half my order though, but this one thing that I am picking up is basically a bit of excitement for the children, which isn't going to go up till probably like the first, the first of December. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then see where, where the wind takes me. You know, you just like, I'm just, I don't know what I'm in the mood for until like, I've, I don't want to like go home because I know <laughs> it sounds really weird, but you know, when you go home, you know, all you do is flipping clean and get washing done and just do the same chores. I feel like maybe I should just venture out and just find some other stuff to do because there's always stuff to do. I actually have a couple of bags to go to the charity shop, which I need to really take. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to first off go to Argos and just pick up this order because it needs to be done. I mean, Bouble, I'm sorry, I've caved. When it involves Bouble. I am home. Graham's just got back as well because I think he smelled the McDonald's because I picked him up the, the Christmas. They've got a load of Christmas bits out. I think it's the Chicken Big Mac. Um, so I think he's going to be very happy about that. Hopefully I like it because he always likes a chicken something from McDonald's. Um, I got myself a crispy chicken Caesar wrap, of course. Right. Graham has gone. He's actually gone to get his hair cut, beard trimmed and all that. He's going to be back at half past two because he was supposed to, um, like stuff a chicken. He, what he did last week was really so good. So he basically got a corn fed chicken and took the bones out, took the backbone out and whatever, kind of like a spatchcock, but then stuffed it with loads of stuffing and kind of like tied it up. And I cooked it and the kids absolutely loved it and it was really, really good. So I thought he was gonna bring one of those home. Well, obviously he's been busy. Uh, we've had some leaking issues with the dairy. So, and we've got like a, people coming out to have a look obviously and have our sort of yearly check or whatever we have. I can't even remember if it's six months or yearly. But um, yeah, so he's been busy, um, but he's coming back at half two to bring it so I can put it in the oven because it kind of needs quite a bit of long cooking because all the stuffing inside. That's what I did last week and it turned out really good. Anyway, I'll show you what I got from Sainsbury's. <laughs> I got myself some cushions. I really love these. These are actually, this is the Habitat range. I generally really love the Habitat range. I've bought a lot of stuff from them over the years. Um, these were down from 16 to 12 pounds with a Nectar card. And oh, one thing I love about them, they are super soft. I love the like evergreen color, like deep green. But also they are like machine washable, which is just a must really. And it means that I can actually switch them up if I wanted to. I think I'm probably, although I I kind of looked at them and thought, oh, they look quite Christmassy. But then realistically they're green, they're not overly Christmassy. So I think I could probably just leave them out all year round. But they are so nice. Oh, so I've got two of those. How nice are they? Super soft. I just cave. They've got all their Christmas stuff um, and a lot of their homeware bits all reduced at the minute. My current favourite tea bag, I always used to buy PG Tips, like, yeah, PG Tips, the pyramid bags. Always, always, always. And um, I don't know, I ended up switching to a decaf. And this is the Sainsbury's one that I've been loving. I think I've tried the MS decaf as well, which are really, really nice. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the tea bags. Um, my dad approves and he likes Yorkshire tea and he appro approves of these, which is good. Um, I also got Miles a random Christmas top for four pounds. I just thought it was super cute. It's like a dinosaur Christmas festive friends. I just thought that was super cute. He's only got one other Christmas top because he's just outgrown everything. And I don't, I don't really want to buy many because obviously next year he just is constantly in this growing phase at the minute. I got some chocolate mini rolls because I just saw them. I got some coffee pods. Again, these are actually one of my favorite coffee pod for my machine. And then, you know how much I hate wrapping? I thought this might make my life easier. It's like a hand thing. Can you see it? And then I got the refills as well. And, and I picked up some of these command decorating clips, they're called. And I'm hoping they're gonna be good for 
what I'm going to be doing with some lights in the house. I've got some like really cute. I'm I can't I can't pick them up till Friday, but um they're kind of like they're kind of icicle lights, but they've got little stars on them. I was going to put them along the patio bifolds inside. So I'm hoping these are going to do the job <coughs> once I receive them. From Asda, I've got some protein um, Warburton thins, bagel thins, and then these seasoned ones as well. They're one pound thirty-five each, which I thought was pretty good. I caved and bought some ice mince pies. I just feel like Alistair's going to be so happy. He's been in such a bad mood this morning, so I'm hoping it's going to cheer him up. Um, I also got some onion gravy. That was on offer. All the gravy is on offer. I got these for Graham's brother's boys, so our nephews in Nottingham. So they come down every year for Christmas, and. They're basically large candy cane, giant candy canes. These were 90p each, which I thought was really good. Uh, we still need to find out what we're getting these boys for Christmas. I'm not sure if they want a Nintendo Switch game or if they've got an Xbox. I, mean, I haven't really got a clue. So they might just want some vouchers. Um, I thought I could just like stick a voucher to it or something. I might get the other kids them actually as well, but I did get a ton of vouchers. I couldn't get a Smiths one, but I got some V-Bucks, I got Xbox, and I got one. We have more boys in our family than girls, as you can see. So this is for my niece, Olivia. Um, and then I also got Miles a Spider-Man drinks bottle. They go through drinks bottles so quickly. I'm actually going to use this for um, a stocking filler, because his, his drinks bottle is okay at the moment, but I know he's going to love this. This is down to three pounds. Um, I also got Alex Alistair a V Bucks voucher. This was six pound nine, six pound forty nine. So that is going to be a stocking stuffer as well, which I know it's a bit more of a pricey stocking stuffer, but I feel like at the moment I'm struggling to find anything to go in his stocking. But also, um, I don't want to buy loads of crap. I don't want to buy loads of cheap things. I might as well just buy something that I know he's going to love and he's going to use, and it's just going to be useful. So. V Bucks, he's well into Fortnite again. What is this this thing? I swear it's just one minute they don't like playing it. He hasn't played it for like eight months and all of a sudden I think they had a massive upgrade and now they're loving it again. I got the kids an inflatable snowman. So <laughs> randomly, honestly, I've just fallen down this trap of like TikTok videos of people, basically Americans with these amazing 20 foot like inflatables and it, it just cracked me up because I've been watching loads of videos of them surprising their like husbands or family members of like a whole trio of them. Um, obviously, there's no way I'm gonna buy a 20 foot one. It probably wouldn't survive the wind out here. But anyway, um, I, I just, I started looking on Amazon and then randomly I went onto Argos and they had the snowman from 50 to 30 pounds. This is only six foot, so it's not ridiculous. It's the same height, it's great. Um, and indoor and outdoor use, it had good reviews. It's got a timer function. I don't know, it just looked cute. And I'm, I'm gonna stick him outside. We've got some, um, we've got some really cute um, icicle lights to go outside the house that we've had for years. So Graham will put them up as well. I think I'm gonna put this up um, on the Friday. So the first, like in, obviously when the kids come back from school and they see it, but yeah, I've caved and bought a really tacky snowman. I'm just waiting for Grace to get back with the chicken so I can put that in the oven. Then I'm gonna go pick up the kids. Then we've got to go feed the calves. Then we'll be home. I hate how dark it's getting already. It's actually been quite rainy all day. Um, yeah, it's got, it's got cold. Um, I've actually been ordering Alistair some new school shoes. Um, I think I originally bought him some, I want to say May, May, June time this year. And obviously they were still fine. They still fitted him. At this age, I don't feel like they, they're changing size, like foot size um, happens as drastically as like when they're really little, obviously. So um, yeah, they've been fine. But all of a sudden, like last week, he uh, he said he was getting wet foot and they've come away so i ordered him some and thankfully black friday cyber monday whatever i've got managed to get him a pair of kickers like a decent pair of shoe for like half the price you know because he's in like a man size now which costs can cost up to like 60 pounds like some shoes 
Um, so they were £30. So very good. JD Sports. Um, and they look, they kind of look like the Nike, the Nike Air Force Ones, because that's what Violet's got. Um, so yeah, but they're kickers. So I've just ordered in some of those and I'll have to just pick them up next week. Look at the state of it. Why does it always rain on the school run? Honestly, why? I think someone's cozy on my new pillows. They're cozy? Yes. Yeah. So warm! <laughs> As you can see, we're home. I am just about to put on the goose fat potatoes. Turn off this tumble dryer. Chicken's looking good. Apparently, there's a, um, a shortage of broccoli. Because I was saying, like, I, I've been really struggling to get hold of broccoli. I mean, I honestly, I haven't tried, like, any other stores apart from Lidl. But still, like, it just shows that it is real. It's happening. Yeah, these are potatoes I'm going to throw in the air. Well, I'm a bit disappointed because look how small they are. Look how tiny. I mean, they do look nice and to be fair, I'm sure the kids will prefer them, but you know, you just expect them to be like big, juicy, kind of, never mind. Right, should I put them in the fry setting? I think I will. Right, I'm doing carrots and peas because that's all I've got in, literally. So I'm doing petit pois, frozen ones, and then just, yeah. Whatever I've got in, and that is literally all I've got in veg wise. So that is what we're having. I actually haven't done any washing today, which is quite nice. I will probably regret that in the next couple of days when I have a ton of washing to do. But yeah, sometimes it's just like I do washing every single day. I just get sick of it. I'm not even joking, like, it's just not fun. I do at least two loads a day, at least, usually. So I am a bit naughty, not not doing any. Even Graham put on a load of washing. He just, like, washes his work clothes. It's the only washing I don't do is his, his, his work clothes, basically. So he usually just strips off and just throws it straight in the wash. Because, obviously, he just... I swear he's like a child. He has to change, like, twice a day, so he gets covered in all sorts. Having said that... I have changed twice today because I've been covered in all sorts today. Dottie in the calf, she's actually, um, she's being moved tonight. Graham's moving her tonight into the pen with the others. Um, and then we should be getting another little calf coming. Um, yeah, she covered me in milk this afternoon because I don't think it was warm enough. She does like it warmer. And, um... She was just going a bit crazy. I was literally covered. My boots were covered. She was like sucking on my leg. Right, this is Graham's. As you can hear, the kids are so windy. I'm just waiting on Graham, but that is how dinner's turned out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. We've all, all got some. Yeah. Miles is in the shower, as you can hear. Violet's singing. You can hear her as well. The boys have gone off to do their karate, Graham does karate, Alistair does jiu-jitsu, so yeah, it's half past six, We're getting Miles into bed soon. What Christmas book we're going to read? We've sorted all the books out. Oh, okay, we like that one. And of course, the vehicle book. Let's do this one first. Okay. okay. Right, Miles is in bed. I've um, just taken my makeup off. I feel fresh. Um, I've got a really bad tummy. I've had a bit of a funny belly today. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I feel so bloated and like really uncomfortable. I really, really wanted to have a iced topped mince pie, but I can't face it. So I've just made myself, I'm really upset about that. So I've just made myself chamomile tea instead. Um, Boys are still out. Violet's FaceTiming her friend. Na, 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 na. Chatting, chatting, chatting. Um, I'm going to watch some cheesy Christmas movie on Netflix because I've actually enjoyed doing that a couple of times a week, actually. Just switching off and watching proper cheesy, cheesy love movie. Um, so anyway, I will catch you all very soon probably for vlogmas because 
by the time this is up it will be close to that anyway but um yeah i hope you have a great week and i will see you in my next video to be